The fastest way to sound like a pro at the piano is, da, da, da. very simple, actually. <laughs> it's using the pedal. Um, so this is one of the best kept secrets, I think, in terms of the difference between somebody who sounds good and somebody who sounds wow. Uh, the pedal adds so much to the playing, it's highly underrated, and it's usually something that's missed at the beginner stages of learning because there's so many other things to think about. So I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm gonna play uh, the first line of Für Elise and just take a listen. It doesn't sound super great. I'm playing a simplified version here. It was okay, but listen to this. So different, so different. It just makes it sound professional. It makes it sound good. So let's talk a little bit about how you can get used to playing with the pedal because it's not easy at the beginning. So if you notice the keyboard overlay, on the top left there is something that says sustain and it's just kind of like a green circle that's white inside. Now if I push my sustain pedal down, boom it gets colored in green. So this is how you can tell when I am pushing down the pedal. So if you have an acoustic piano, it's the pedal to the far right. If you have a keyboard or an electric um, piano, you should also have a pedal. Most of them come with, if they don't, they're not expensive to buy and you can just plug them in um, and they really do make a difference in your playing, so I highly recommend it. Uh, and if that's the case, again, it's gonna be wherever you place it on the floor. The main thing is you want your foot flat on the floor, your heels touching the ground, and then you can push the pedal up and down from there. So let's dive into how this will work. So this time, pay attention to when I am pressing the pedal and when I am releasing it. Basically, any time the chord changes, and you can download the sheet music for this easy version of Fear Lease if you wanna check it out, um, but you're gonna notice that above the music there are chord names, and so that's a really great clue. Anytime those chord names change, you wanna lift the pedal and push it back down. Uh, also, anytime things start to sound kinda like muddy, that's when you wanna lift it, put it back down. So, let's take a look. I'm gonna start with it pressed down. I'm gonna do a lift here, here. So there you go. That's how the pedal can make a huge difference. Now you can practice this on absolutely anything you like. It's also really fun to practice uh, your pedaling using just a chord progression. So you could go uh, one, so C, two, three, four, lift, G. way to get used to lifting that pedal and what will happen as a beginner is you'll forget and this will happen you hear how it's starting to sound as soon as you lift it you're like oh okay that's better um and if you're not sure just record yourself playing and then listen back and your ears will tell you uh so this does take time it's a skill that takes time to develop, just like riding a bike. You'll have to think about it and it'll, be, it'll feel complicated and you might feel like your feet are disconnected from the rest of your body and that's okay because with a little bit of practice, it'll all come together and you'll wonder how it was ever difficult to begin with. I can pretty much guarantee you that any piano player I talk to uses the pedal every time they play. Um, it's just something that once you get used to using, you never go without it because it makes your playing sound so much better. So I hope this was helpful. Have fun uh, practicing with the pedal and we'll see you around.